on, wax off. When you pay close enough attention, some things don't quite add up. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 major movie plot holes. For this list, we're taking a look at films that, while entertaining, have some pretty glaring problems with their storylines, either in the form of missing yet relevant info, inconsistencies, contradictions, or things that just make no sense. It is all those things I can do, all those powers. The plot holes in question don't necessarily take away from our overall enjoyment of the movies themselves, but they do leave us wondering how something so questionable slipped past so many people. That's disgusting! Number 10. Binary Lunacy, Independence Day. Everyone knows aliens have it in for us, and that humankind is a galaxy-wide nuisance. Welcome to Earth. Unfortunately, these massively technologically advanced aliens underestimated one thing, 1990s computer viruses. We can enter here, uh, as shown in the satellite photos. We then upload the virus. We then set off some kind of uh, explosion. They made it all the way to Earth from a distant planet, but they're ultimately felled by something you might have gotten while downloading porn. Sir, he's uploading the virus. Not to mention the whole finding an accommodating port on an alien spacecraft through which to upload said virus thing. We can't even charge our new iPods with our old chargers. The virus is in. He did it! The son of a bitch did it! Number nine, face shot face palm, the Karate Kid. All right, what are the rules here? Don't know. Having suffered a deliberate knee injury at the machinations of the opposing team's nefarious instructor, Daniel is finally able to stand up to his bully in the karate ring. So what does he do? He kicks the dude in the face, which we already know is a legal move. Or is it? Daniel, look, everything above your waist is a point. You can head, you can hit the sternum, kidneys and the ribs. You got it? The rules of the tournament say they're kosher, but some calls from the officials say otherwise, especially in the final. Apparently, when you're the good guy and your competition is a douche, it's fine and you end up winning the tournament. Probably. Number 8. The Trouble with Time Zones, Gremlins. But the most important rule, the rule you can never forget, no matter how much he cries, no matter how much he begs, never, never feed him after midnight. Why get a dog or an adorable cat when you can get a creature that looks like a Furby, that you can't get wet, and that you shouldn't feed after midnight? With more quiet comes much responsibility. And midnight according to what watch, by the way? Did you feed them after midnight? Well, I gave them some chicken, but I made sure that it... No, 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 wait a minute. If you and your Mogwai are hanging out in New York and decide to catch a midnight plane to Los Angeles, can it have a snack while you fly over Montana? It's pretty much always midnight somewhere, so should it just starve to death? <laughs> Number seven, top dumb, Battlefield Earth. But there is one thing that you rat brains weren't smart enough to realize. This movie was a dumpster fire of awfulness, but we gotta narrow things down. Trust me. There's nothing I want for. One of the most obvious WTF moments in the film comes when the newly emboldened humans hop into some thousand-year-old Harrier jets to take their planet back from the humanoid dreadlocked aliens. While most folks probably aren't up on the half-life of jet fuel, it's safe to say that most aircraft aren't in top-shelf condition after a literal millennium of complete neglect. Pretend that you're not a complete imbecile and check the compo gradients. Number six, if I could turn back time, Superman. Uh, oh, just how fast do you fly? What happens when your superhuman speed lets you lessen the consequences of a nuclear blast, but not save your lady love? Sorry, I beg your pardon? Why you use that superhuman speed to fly around the globe with such velocity as to reverse time itself. While we could question why Supes didn't use his immense mind-boggling speed to maybe intercept the two nuclear missiles in the first place, We'll just chalk that one up to kryptonite poisoning. Oh, krypton! Then again, we're not scientists, but does reversing the Earth's orbit really turn back time? I never lie. Number five, 
Destroyed Pod equals no Star Wars, Star Wars Episode 4 and New Hope. What have you done with those plans? Princess Leia is hightailing it back to the Rebel Alliance when her spacecraft is captured. She jettisons an escape pod with R2-D2 and C-3PO inside, who happen to be carrying the ever-so-vital plans for the Death Star. This is madness. Instead of destroying the pod, and thusly preventing the series of events that lead to the destruction of the Death Star and the entire Star Wars saga, the Imperial soldiers decide that since there aren't any signs of life on board, they should just let it go. Secret mission? What plans? What are you talking about? I'm not getting in bed. I'm going to regret this. That's right. Laziness brought down the Empire. Hold your fire. There's no life forms. It must have short-circuited. Number four. Just move over. Titanic. I'm flying. Jack. Jack and Rose fell in love rather quickly aboard that doomed vessel. <laughs> and you would have to, considering the sinking of the ship interrupted their love affair and whatnot. Maybe MacGyver-like creativity wasn't at the forefront of their minds when it came to surviving the ordeal, but at least some effort could have been made to get Jack on that board. Here, get on it. Get on it. No matter what you say, there was enough space, and the buoyancy issue could have been resolved with Rose's life vest. Jack. Bam, fixed. Movie over. Number three, talking to yourself, Citizen Kane. Rose. It's widely considered to be one of, if not the, greatest film ever made, plot hole or not. The premise of the film follows a reporter as he scrambles to find the meaning behind a notorious public figure's last word, Rosebud. Interestingly enough, however, no one was actually present in the room when Charles Foster Kane spoke his final word and died. I'll get on it right away, Mr. Olson. Good. Rosebud. Dead or alive. So we have to question what set the reporter upon his journey of discovery in the first place, since no one knew he said it anyway. It'll probably turn out to be a very simple thing. Number two, superhero, super speedy, The Dark Knight Rises. Gotham is a magical city, apparently. Now why are you people here? Well, how else do you explain that attempts to microwave its water supply somehow don't kill all the inhabitants? <laughs> There's Batman's time travel. How does the caped crusader end up in Gotham mere moments after escaping from an underground prison halfway across the globe with no passport, no resources, and a recently broken back? Oh, your money! Answer, because Batman. Impossible. Speaking of which, we didn't know that getting punched in the back could fix a major spinal injury. There's a vertebra oh. protruding from your oh. back. It has to be put back. Before we fill you in on our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Show Arne Soros. You can call the sheriff's station, just don't give him this address and, and tell him to go out on the interstate where they ought to be. My babies don't like strangers. Is this a dream? <laughs> Number one, water, water everywhere, signs. Oh! We mentioned that thing about aliens wanting to kill us and being super smart, right? Well, you would think that if you've developed the ability to travel light years through space and time, you'd have the ability to do a little research on the planet you're headed to. Considering Earth is approximately two-thirds water, and water is apparently the deadliest thing ever to these particular aliens, now we're talking. We're left to assume there was never a scouting mission sent prior to the whole global invasion thing. Idiots. Do you agree with our list? Of course. What movie plot hole blows your mind the most? For more entertaining top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Now is not the time for fear. That comes later.